Stuttgart entertained top of the table head to Berlin. Berlin looking to keep that four-point advantage. Stuttgart six with 39 points. Another team looking for a European spot. Voronin against Gomez, two strikers who do what they're paid for. Hertha, 49 points, looking over their shoulders at a chasing pack. The home team, Stuttgart, in their white and red. We join the game in the eighth minute. Kakao giving the ball to Gebhardt, who was very active in the first half. And a cheeky little shot from the Brazilian. Warming Yaroslav Drobny up in that Berlin goal. Berlin got straight to it as well. Rodney and Babic providing Voronin with a chance. And he wasn't far off of Jens Lehmann's goal either. So it was obvious from the beginning how this game was going to go. Lucien Favre had to make an early change as well, losing the captain, Anna Friedrich. First chance for Gomez, and he did so well. That was on. 11 minutes. Drobny not having to make a save, really. Quarter of an hour. Gone and Kakao. Kadira, Kakao, and then Gomez again. Some lovely build-up play from Stuttgart, lots of short, close passes, one-twos, back heels, give-and-goes. They were doing everything in their arsenal. 21 minutes gone, Gomez with another shot. Still no goal. Berlin have won the last three league matches against Stuttgart, and they haven't lost any of the last seven. 24 minutes gone. Stuttgart building up to another attack again. The ball in the back of the net, but for some reason, Kakao carried on running. Roberto Hilbert turns around and looks at him, amazed. The back heel was meant for Hilbert from Gomez, but Kakao suddenly saw the goal in front of him. So, at half-time, nil-nil. And some people might have... Thought it was a little boring. But that was to change in the second half. Two minutes after the restart, the long ball, the nod on, and the lucky goal. But they all count. Kakao getting his third of the season. Classic Route 1 goal. Lehman must have learned something down at Arsenal. The long ball, the nod on from the big striker. And the poachers there to finish off home team taking the lead. New grass been laid for this game, a new turf, and it seemed to have favoured the home team. Stuttgart took the game by the scruff of the neck, free kick on 51 from Thomas Hitzelsperger, finding the head of Sami Kadira, and Kadira's seventh goal of the season making it 2-0 in less than five minutes. Yaroslav Drobny unable to do anything about that at all. Stuttgart bouncing back after that 4-0 drubbing at Bremen. They very often draw 0-0, these two teams. Not the case today. Joy on the face of captain Thomas Hitzelsberger. But Hertha Berlin are not without their own tricks and efforts. Nice build-up, Raphael unable to put any real power. And then just past the hour mark, quickly taken, free kick. Hilbert always looking for Gomez. Gomez doing very well to get in front of Kakaru. Come on for Friedrich. Shake of the head from Marcus Babel. Three minutes later, Berlin desperately trying to get back into the game. Pantelic, who come on in the meantime, fouled by Boularouz. But referee Thorsten Kinhofer, who's awarded three penalties this season, wasn't going to order a fourth. 
right on the top of Pantelic's foot. No penalty, though. Berlin feeling slightly robbed. Just past 76 minutes. Chance for Kaukau that he really should have converted. Gebhardt providing the pass. Kaukau frustrating his coach. Into the last 10 minutes. Kadira to Magnac. Hilbert with a difficult chance. 90 plus one. Hilbert again sprinting down that right wing, which he did so often in this game. And a good save from Drobny from Sheba. Stuttgart wanted to really kill this game off. 90 plus two, Gomez plays the one-two as Shiba goes round the keeper. But Kakao's there to clear the ball away. And at the end, their run comes to an end. There's still a point clear at the top, but it's only a point now. All three go to Stuttgart.